Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow and welcome back to Storage Saturday. So if you saw last week, we customized a really cool lap desk for Tilly and today I built the two girls an art and homework station and I'm really excited to show it to you. They've loved using this, everything is organized, it's within reach, they don't have to ask me if they want to come and color because everything is right here and everything they need for their homework is here as well. So there's some drawers just underneath the table that the girls can use and there's Maddie's homework stuff and that in there. So let's talk about the storage that I used on the table first of all. So the first thing I used was this little pink bin over here. We've got their Crayola Model Magic, some watercolors, and the nice thing is it's got this lip so they can really grab onto it. You could add labels on the edge. And just remember that a lot of this storage can also be used in our craft rooms, and I'm gonna be covering that next week, so stay tuned for that. I also grabbed this new piece from Deflector because I asked me what I really wanted for this area. And it has six buckets in it, just like this. It has a handle on top, and we've got things like their Uli markers, their Crayola Take Note, you know, pens for Maddie to do our homework, markers, coloring pencils, you know, all the things that they kind of just want to play with, or maybe they need it for their homework. So really easy and of course with a handle on we can take it anywhere so if we're going out and they want to color outside they can just grab that and go then i put together this box here full of all of our oddments of crayons ones that maybe don't have the packaging still or all those kinds of things they can just go in here and they can grab out what they need maybe if we're doing melted crayon art we can use them too and the nice thing is this has a lid that clips on nice and securely and it's easy to clip on and off but not too easy but also this is recessed. You can put the lid underneath and it's not gonna move anywhere, but it also means you can stack multiples on top of each other. And all of this comes in a variety of colors and fun things. And they're available at your local big box stores too. And I'll add links and names below. You can find all of that below the video. Then we put this painting tray together because they love to finger paint and paint me pretty pictures. We've got some on the walls here. Um, but this just here, these are the apple barrel paints that I uh, let the girls use. And then their paint brushes are in this little tote over here, this pretty glittery tote, also from Deflecto, um, blue glitter. And then I've just put their paint brushes and their daubers and things like that in there. And it's great. You can also use this as a little crafty trash can and you could customize it with the vinyl like I showed you last week too. And then this is really great. I love this. I'm a big fan of this. It's a low mess option for us. So you can put your water in here when they're water coloring. I remember having paint pots like this at school and I haven't seen them for years. And then it has a little catch on here and then just enough of a hole to put their paintbrush in. So not huge amounts of mess and then we can close it up. And of course it's not gonna make any mess. And there's ridges here, which is where they can put their paintbrushes across to dry when they're using them. So again, just a really nifty little thing. You could put paint in here, but really I use it for their water to keep everything clean when they're using their paints. Um, we also have these two cases here. So these are the pencil cases. I love these. I made the girls personalized ones for back to school. Um, crayons in here that they can either take to school or this is really great when we go to the pub. I put like a post-it pad in here or their travel spirograph and it all fits in here perfectly. It clips shut and of course they can just throw that in their backpack and off we go. And I really like this one because this you could use as a lunchbox and personalize it with vinyl and shapes and words. Um, but all also, you know, you can fit your know, art things in the here, you can have a craft pack to go. Great when we're traveling, we do a lot of flights as a family and I often uh, pack something like this for each of them on their flight and they, every, particularly when we do the transatlantic, I'm like every hour you can have something out the box uh, just to make that eight hour flight just a little bit shorter. So that's another thing. There's also this version with a handle on. So this is really Maddie's cart, but they both kind of use it. Um, you know, she's got her sketchbook in here. We've got their glues and safety scissors. Again, it's got a really nice handle. It comes in a variety of colors, but it keeps them organized. And my plan is to add labels to everything just so they'll know where to put things. And the last thing I have in the back here, which really is more for Maddie, because it's got her homework things in, but do keep some regular paper in it, is the magazine holder. It's super sturdy. So if you have lots of catalogs or crafty magazines, it's perfect for that. She can keep all of her paper in here. You can actually put 12 by 12 paper in here, hint, hint, mums, if we want to put our scrapbook paper in. And then it has pull tabs on either end, and it has a label carrier where you can, you know, put your label in and customize it. So I really like that one as well. And then this is just 
an easy clean mat that I put at the front so they can scribble on it. It doesn't affect my table. And you know, they can really make as much mess as they want down here in their little corner and everything is just contained perfectly. So all of this is courtesy of Deflecto. I absolutely love it. As I say, it's available at your local big box store. Now I'm gonna add some names and links below so you can check those out. It's available in a variety of colors and finishes. And every week we're gonna have Storage Saturday. So this month we're focusing on kind of the kids storage line that they have. Next week I'm showing you how to use this stuff in your craft room, which I'm sure you're gonna to love too, mums um, or grandmas. And, um, or any parents of course, but we'll show you how to do that next week. Last week we showed the customization, you can go back and check that out. It's also in this storage and organization playlist that you can subscribe to. And then um, we also have some fun things coming on Instagram. So check those out too. Thank you for joining me here today on Hedgehog Hollow. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you love storage. And if you have something that you're really struggling to store, let me know. I want to know, I want to be able to help you with it. So tell me and we'll make sure that's a focus in future. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow. Another tip, trick, tutorial, or maybe something else. I'll see you then. Bye.